Hello everyone, I am Ms. Tamalanjali, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics from KSR Arts and Science College, Bhagavan Trishankodu. In this video, we want to see about public health nutrition. First, what is public health nutrition? Uh, that is uh, providing nutrition goals to the public, which is called public health nutrition. What is public health nutrition? What is the concern of public health nutrition? Public health nutrition's main concern is to improve the nutrition in public or population in both poor and industrialized countries and it also links with community nutrients and other complementary disciplines. Why public health nutrition is important? Because it increases knowledge about nutrition which help us to reduce the medical care cost and also to improve the quality of life. This is why public health nutrition is necessary. If there is a lack of public health nutrition, what exists that is malnutrition, malnutrition and other kinds of diseases. That what is malnutrition and its type? Malnutrition takes place when people do not have the required and necessary calories and proteins for sustainability and growth. That is, uh, malnutrition occurs when the people doesn't meet their requirement of calorie and protein either it by not consuming the right amount of food or the imbalanced food consumption. Um, that is, there are two types of malnutrition which are undernutrition, overnutrition. Undernutrition is broadly classified into four types which are under, underweight that is low weight for age, then wasting that is low weight for height, then starving uh, that is low height for age, stunting, sorry, stunting, low height for age and micronutrient deficiencies. Overweight is broadly classified into two types that is overweight and obesity. How to assess this uh, malnutrition and other kinds of nutrition health related diseases by nutritional assessment methods. Nutritional assessment is a systemic process of collecting and interpreting information in order to make decision about the nature and cause of nutrition related health issues that affect an individual. When an individual is affected by any nutrient related health diseases which can be assessed by this nutritional assessment methods. Types of nutritional assessment. Nutritional assessment method involves four types that is A, B, C, D which stands for anthropometry assessment, biochemical assessment, clinical assessment and dietary assessment. Anthropometry assessment involves the analysis of height, weight, BMI and MUAC that is mid upper arm circumference of an individual. Then bio biochemical assessment includes the analysis of blood, urine and other body tissues of an affected individual. Then clinical assessment which involves a complete physical examination and a medical and psychological history of an individual. Then in dietary assessment foods and quantities of foods consumed by an individual and their eating habits and accessibility of food and their cultural and socio-economic factors that affects their selection of food. These are the methods of nutritional assessment. Then uh, after assessment, how to change or uh, modify their behaviors by behavior change communication. It is one of a key intervention program uh, which can be conducted for individual or groups or community to promote the positive health behaviors to promote positive health be behaviors to solve their uh, nutrition or health related problems. This is called behavior change communication. That is uh, due to their behaviors, some diseases will occur. So by promoting the positive health effects against their uh, behaviors, it leads to a healthy life. This is called behavior change communication. There are several steps in developing the behavior change communication, which are initially state the program goals and involve stakeholders then identify target populations then conduct formative bcc assessments then segment target populations then define behavior change objectives then define bcc strategy and me plan then develop communication products then pre-test implement and monitor then evaluate and finally analyze the feedback and revise the uh, steps in developing behavior change communication then there is also another uh, program for behavior change that is social and behavior change communication which is also an key intervention program uh, to achieve nutrition goals uh, for reducing the morbidity and mortality death rate uh, from nutrition preventable health causes of any country. 
Example are SPCC approach follows a systemic process. It is one of a systemic process to analyze a problem uh, to uh, define key barriers. What are the barriers uh, there exist uh, for this problem are analyzed and then uh, motivate us to change and then uh, some the comprehensive set of interventions are designed and they are implemented to encourage positive behaviors which is called social and behavior change communication.